So I have, let's see what else I've got. I have this little envelope that I was thinking of using. It's another pocket. So I'm just gonna fold that right in half. Use my bone folder to give that a real good crease. And then I'll trim this. Okay, so I just barely slice that so I can have two pockets. Okay, um, I have these cheeseburger papers that I'm trying to decide how I want to incorporate them. be good if I could just fold this in half I think I think that would be a good width yeah okay and then but for now I can cut it at least to be the size and then I can just use it for a template when I get some better non-used hamburger wrappers. I do like those cute little Ronald McDonald's throwing stuff in the garbage. I'll bring this trimmer over here. Trim that off. Maybe. Ronald would be upside down. I was thinking I could make this a pocket. That could work. Okay, so we'll do that. Make that a pocket at the bottom. I have this old computer paper. Just tear off a piece here. And let's see how I can manipulate this to fit. I like the holes. Maybe I could make one side that way and then do a flip, flip out for the other one. So let's see. Put this edge like that and then fold that over Mark the 
top. And let's see. I can fold this back. Now, trim this top off. back like that can be a flip out and I could do glue that down or have it be like a tuck spot and flip out. Paper that got messed up in my printer that kind of, I don't know if you can see them. It created these um, pressed lines. It looks kind of cool. So I wonder. I like the lines going this way best. So we'll just have this be a shorter page. Fold that like that. And let's see. Could do another pocket. Or a flip up. Let's do a pocket. See if I open this up. I can just fold it up. straight was that? Pretty straight. Not perfect, but pretty straight. Oops, Ooh, I need to clean my glue off my fingers. Okay. Oh, and my Kitty cat coloring page to the center. That one's cute. Well, they're all cute. I'm going to clean up this edge though. Okay, let's use this other one as a guide. I think I. it in half. Long ways. And go down. Three quarters, two, three quarters. Up there and there. Maybe if I hold 
my ruler on there and then fold those up. Work. There we go. That'll work. Okay, fold that back in. Put that back in the other signature. And put this in the middle. Okay, I'd say that is fat enough. Okay, I'd say that's good for that signature. Okay. And there's two of them. Now, let's see. Um, well, I guess I could do all my kitty cat pages. All right, so I am working on this signature. And I want to use this envelope, but if I put it in this way, then it'll be hard to get things in and out because it'll be, the opening should be over there. And I can't figure out how to make that happen. So I decided to just fold it in half and put half on each side of the signature, but so that the flap can still get used. I'm gonna cut just a little bit to each side of this so that there's a little bit of space for the signature to get sewn together and give it room to I don't know, open up easier I guess. Okay so I'm gonna put that right here and there we go. And you can open from both sides. So I also have, um, bought this pretty Prima ledger paper uh, as a digital. And so I just printed it out to be like eight inches square. And it was still a little bit long. So I just folded it in half and then folded up the bottom. And then I'll glue the sides or so or something so there's little pockets right there and then i just use this little off cut of this paper and i think that's probably enough for this signature i don't want to make them too fat because i want to add tags and stuff so that makes three signatures with two to go. So I got my kitty cat coloring page. I want that one in the middle. So that will be in the middle. And I can put in a piece of coffee dyed paper. Let's see, do I want it this way? So I'm just going to fold it in half. I think this was just notebook paper, lined notebook paper, but dyeing it made all the lines go away. And I think I'll just trim this to be the same size as the signature cover. Ooh, I'm afraid I'm gonna cut that cat coloring page. So I think I'll just draw some lines here. Maybe just use my paper trimmer. Cut that up to size. This 
one at an angle. out doesn't it but maybe I'll fix that later um then I think I'll use another one of these ledger pages because I printed out quite a few so I think I'll use this one against those. I'll again tuck these up at the bottom. Measure like that. similar colors so I think I want something white this Wendy's bag All right I can draw a line on my bag to match the angle of the cover so I'm using my uh, little zigzag decorative scissors this so it still looks like the top of a paper bag and probably don't need that and open pocket. And that is that one. Hmm. I have to do some extra trimming, but that will be good for now. So now, just one more. So I'm trying to decide if I want this one. This one, I accidentally tore that. I think I want this one. I'll just trim up the edge and do like, you know, the others and add a few more pages. And then I am done picking out my papers for my signatures. So I'm gonna do all that and be back. In this signature, I think I'll add this. I went to McDonald's and they kindly gave me some clean hamburger wrappers. Um, I'd like to use it as a page, but it's super thin. So I think I'll just glue it to the back of this paper. And so I think I better just cut off the end of this. And I think a glue stick would work best. Let me find my glue stick and be right back. So I'm just going to cover the back of this with glue.
Alright. I like that little Ronald McDonald at the bottom there. Folder there. Okay. Hmm. I think I used too much glue stick. I'm gonna clean this off and then I'll clean this up and that will be one of my pages. Hopefully that won't be so wrinkly once it dries. So I've got this glued and trimmed and everything so I also have this um, just a greeting card and I found this sack from Gosner's that I know has a lot of good memories from my for my kids I hear a cheese Place, place that makes cheese and they had little samples that you could get when you go in the store and my kids just loved going to Gosner's so I thought that would be fun to add this to the mix so I think I'll just um, do the same thing that I did with the other bags. And then that will be the last thing, I think, for the main pages of my signatures. So, because I think it's getting kind of thick. So I would say that that will be good. So I'll just trim up this sack and fix it and trim up all my signatures and then decide you know, if I want to do sewing and add pockets and all that good stuff. So, I'll be back. So, I have added, um, I just did a zigzag stitch to close these pockets. And so, next I have this piece that has a flip out that I thought would be fun to weave something through these holes so I got this crochet thread from Joanne that I thought I could just do um, maybe a chain stitch to make it thicker okay so I'll just do a slip knot So the thread is size 10 and this is a size 5 US. So I'm just doing a really loose chain here. Okay, I think that will be long enough. So I will just... Um, Finish that up with the slip knot. And there we go. So maybe if I get a needle. Alright, got this needle. these holes here. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so now I could rather have it longer at the top.
maybe just tuck that end under. Well, or I could add a bead, add some beads to both ends and just kind of have that be a dangly. And then I think I'll glue this and make it be a tuck spot. So let me find some beads and I'll be back. All right, so I have those beads on and I just um, ended up just threading them through because I didn't have a needle, but this thread was heavy duty enough. So I've got some at the top and some at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna glue this pocket shut. A little tuck spot, I guess it's not really quite big enough to be called a pocket. just have this here maybe some washi tape or something would look better to hold that close because the glue would show through so I'll need to find some washi tape that's okay and this, I'm just going to make it to where it can get folded out. This is okay. This same thing. Hmm. Trying to decide if I want to put something through that side or not. Beads make it real heavy on that lightweight paper. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so I just need to find some washi. Put this signature. And then this signature. There's anything that will need to be sewn. Oh. Oh. Let's see, I've got a tiny tuck. I'm just going to leave that. sewing. And same with that. So I think I'd like to sew this. So I'm going to sew the sides and be right back. All right, I am not going to thread anything through this one. So I'm just going to glue these down. For another little tuck. And I may try to find maybe some trim to go around this envelope flap. That one doesn't need anything. Okay, so I need to find trim and washi tape. Need sewing before I go back and forth. That's 
kind of coming off. Thinking about sewing around that. I think I will. Okay, so I'm gonna sew these and be right back. I found this washi tape which is from SEI, which I thought would look pretty cute on this cheeseburger wrapper paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay it, you know what? I think I'm gonna tack this down. A little bit of glue, just a little bit. And it'll be covered up with the the washi tape but it will hold it down so it doesn't come up when I'm trying to put down the washi so maybe if I put it in a line on my mat I can get it half on half off easier maybe okay I got enough to pull out So I had to go super slow. And I just put it halfway on. And I'm gonna fold it over to this side. There we go. Trim these ends. I like it. I like it. So it gives a nice little pocket. So we'll do the same thing over here. Okay. That is done. So let's see if I want to do it to any... Okay, there's no pages in here to do it to. So I'm just going to do the same thing and I'll be back.